People are asking, you know, if, if the security is so good, what did happen that day? You know, I mean, my understanding is that because it was the end of the check-in uh, session, uh, security guard went to uh, the, with, the, with the rest of the passengers, uh, passengers to the gate, to the gate yeah. you know. And uh, unfortunately, the airport didn't have enough security um, to make sure that yeah. something like this will not happen. So, uh, yeah, we cannot blame uh, El Al security or, or El Al... Uh, no, on the contrary, El Al, you know, security did an extraordinary job that they were trained for. They acted fast and the results were by far what could have been so much worse would there have been more people at the check-in. So that was what we call maybe our luck, which it wasn't really, but it could have been a massacre because uh, people on these flights, we're talking to 300 people, within two hours are being checked in, go through security. If we would have come half an hour earlier, it would have been a disaster. It would have Why? been because so many more people would have been killed. It would have been a massacre. And this is what they, you know, he acted by him uh, on his own, uh, it seemed. Uh, but um, people, unfortunately, also learn and get more aggressive. And we still have to be on guard. And, and even when I fly now, and everybody probably not does, not only going to Israel, you know, you don't know what kind of crazy people can be around you and do harm and, and do bad uh, for all kinds of reasons. Yeah. Do you think that uh, Jewish people are complaining or whining when they're requesting more security or is it deserved? It's absolutely deserved. It's deserved, you know, for anybody. But, you know, Jews in particular know they have been uh, under attack. Uh, wars around uh, Israel everywhere. It, it gets worse and worse. And uh, how can you be not worried and you have you know Israel is, is a country Israelis I mean are just incredible people because they have for so many years have had enemies around them who just have not given up and are getting worse and worse you know wanting destruction of the people and and uh, it's not and it's not only even Jewish people there it's also Christian people there. it's it's other people who of good people of other faiths and you know it's it is terrible absolutely terrible do you feel that there's a taboo against addressing the possibility of extremism within Islam you know what absolutely but politically correctness you know it uh, is the is the issue people uh, in particular people on the left don't want to mention these things uh, and uh, this is wrong you know i mean we know that if you don't uh, um, say what the danger is, uh, then you are in more danger. You know, absolutely. But you don't mind the idea of uh, countries that can't provide proper vetting uh, shouldn't be allowed to be sending. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, all the people that they talk very nice, uh, they wouldn't leave. They they lock their doors when they go to sleep at night. Okay, they wouldn't let the doors open. Uh, they will not leave them open. They will not invite homeless people to their home without who know who they are and what not. So talk is cheap, you know, and this is the problem of the left in the United States today.